few miles outside Hanover, in the small town of Etna, on a quiet country road, there's an historic inn, which happens to have a pretty cool backyard. This is Lord's Hill Ski Area. You might say it's one of New Hampshire's lost ski areas, located directly behind the Pierce Inn. We really love the magic of this place. It has a feel and a vibe that um, it's just really special. The Pierce Inn has a history as rich as Lord's Hill. Built in the 1940s, the lodge was purchased by Reg and Nancy Pierce in 1970 daughter Cindy was just six years old. My parents did it for 31 years and we had ski school until the liability became an issue, uh, insurance for the rope tow became an issue, and, um, and then the snow was just too much. So my parents stopped doing ski schools and kind of let the, the hill kind of grew in. The trails may have become covered in trees and brush, but the hill never lost its enchantment. Cindy and her husband Bruce took over the inn in 2002 and raised their three children here while tending to their guests at the inn. What was it like to raise your family there? Really uh, great. Like when we, when one of us would be cooking for the guests, the other would be out playing on the hill and the guests would be like, what? Oh my gosh, your husband's out there sledding or skiing. As you can imagine, having a ski hill in your backyard meant Cindy and Bruce's three kids could ski before they could practically walk. They were ski racers and they'd come home from practice, go up on the hill, hike up. This is long before we had any, any gear. And they would hike up and build jumps for hours and their friends would come over and they spent a lot of time doing that. It was just awesome, you know, like coming home from school, sledding, skiing. Coulter is Bruce and Cindy's youngest. At age 17, Coulter is a senior at Kimball Union Academy. When it came time to do his senior project, Coulter chose to write and produce a video about Lord's Hill, what it was like growing up here, and their effort to restore it. Deep in the hills of Edna, New Hampshire, lies a place known by many, but with a history that most are not familiar with. Behind Pierce's Inn lies a dormant ski hill that ran from the 1940s to the early 80s. While the trails are still there, the rope toe is no longer. To this day, there are remnants of the ski lift that stand as a reminder of what was once a busy little hill that taught many how to ski. I think I really wanted everyone to know just how rich the history is. And I, I think the thing about New England is the area behind my house is one of thousands. There's so many small little areas that, cause you know, back in the day, before the big resorts, everyone would just go to the little rope toe in their town. And like, that's just so cool to me that people, you know, skied in that way. And I think that with my film, I wanted to definitely portray that, his portray the history, but also, you know, leave it open-ended and see that maybe things will get back to that way in the future. Because, you know, it's pretty unique that we still have these trails, like, available to ski and they're still used and I think that's pretty unusual. With no rope tow, the Pierce Lingelbach family uses snowmobiles to get up to the top of the hill or they hike up. As of right now, Lord's Hill is for family and friends. It cannot be open to their guests yeah. or the public. From the road, you can see the main trail that comes down, and then if you walk up a little ways, you can see where it branches off a little bit. And um, But the rope tow is defunct, and so we're just you know towing up and walking up and skinning up. Um, so it looks like a slope that comes down, and uh, it's pretty wooded and generally, generally nice. In the past few years, a push to beat back growth has rekindled the spirit of Lord's Hill. This is the story of the family-run ski area where I grew up. After graduation, Coulter is headed to Connecticut College to play lacrosse. But his childhood is forever framed by the adventures he had right outside his back door. And he has future plans for Lord's Hill. 
I'm really into snow making and the engineering behind that. So I really want to put in like a snow, make, snow making system, but you know, that's pretty expensive. Yet what their family learned over the years, you don't need a lot of expensive equipment to experience the joy that Lords Hill brought their family and hopefully future generations. Do you credit the ski hill with maybe keeping your family so close because that was something you guys could really enjoy and do together? Yeah, you know, that really where we spent, you know, between the inn and the ski hill and nature out around us that's where we spent all of our time you know we really spent a lot of time as a family up there and i yeah i would say that's why we're so close because we all share that passion for skiing